in to the online broadcast network, AfterBuzz TV. Over 20 million weekly downloads in over 150 countries and your number one source for after show entertainment. <laughs> TV, the destination for TV superfans, producing after shows for over 300 of your favorite TV shows, interviewing celebrities and showrunners, and bringing you behind the scenes exclusives. All thanks to E Entertainment's Maria Menunos, producer Kevin Undergaro, and internet leader Akamai. Now, let the buzz begin! <laughs> Welcome to another After Buzz show for Brooklyn Nine-Nine, Season 2, Episode 6. This one's called Jake and Sophia. We're so happy because we have everybody here tonight. Wow. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we're just going to dive right in because this was a great episode tonight. We're going to start out talking about Gina and Boyle and their luxury sex romp. So we wanted to see a little more out of these two after last week, so we got a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But I'm sad that they broke up. I Did they? Did the, uh, well, he was giving her back her stuff. I know, but I feel like it's still gonna something. They're gonna yeah. get drunk again. You're right. They have that underlying tension yeah. that they can't. You're hide, right. Like so. it's not over yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. I agree. I thought at the end, I thought that we were actually gonna see them ultimately both in mm -hmm. in that room. Yeah. Yeah. But I yeah. like that surprise that we saw who Sandra, like um, Chel Gina's mom was, Sandra Bernhardt, mm -hmm. and uh -huh. the dad of Boyle. I think that was kind of fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Kind of gross, too. Like, they were going to get it on, and they were going to get it They were just like Boyle and Gina. Yeah. yeah. I thought, like their personality. Mm -hmm. Totally. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a nice twist. They might end up being stepbrothers and stepsisters. Yeah. And then they <laughs> have Boyle. Yeah, we, exactly. Yeah. We, I, I could have, like, the parents just do one hookup so that, you know, future Thanksgivings and gather gatherings could be a little awkward. Mm. But, yeah, we don't want them to no, we don't. them to get together. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I think we're all rooting for Gina Boyle. Yeah. yeah. But it was kind of see nice to see them um, going after each other and trying to one-up each other and, you know, and get the... Yeah, one was, like, ahead of the other. Each mm -hmm. time, I feel like, with the um, the working late, mm -hmm. yeah. Gina was ahead of him. It was just funny. Yeah. Yeah. And I like, too, that Boyle, like, wasn't going to be a pushover on this one. That he was, yeah, like, that's true. definitely going to, you know, give her a fight. Yeah. He wanted that room. He was going to fight for it. <laughs> <laughs> and the way it was set up was so beautiful. So romantic. Yeah. All the yeah. petals and the dim lighting. So who wouldn't want that room? Right, it's true. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> For yourself, yeah. indulge in yourself. So <laughs> yeah, and I thought, or maybe something could happen if they both did have to then pull an all-nighter together in the office. Mm -hmm. Could have been another good opportunity for. Something. Or a little something, something to happen between them, which could have. Maybe could've. something did. Maybe uh, something did. I don't know. We maybe. might see something next yeah. week. Hopefully. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. Oh. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll hope so. Um, anything else on those two? Just like uh, when Boyle's like, we're not poke pals anymore. Yeah. Oh my God. That was really funny. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely one of my favorite little quotes of the evening. Yeah. <laughs> or his high voice that he did. The high pitched voice. The Tina oh. Knowles voice. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was pretty creative that they both came up with the, the one thing they knew the other one would be most excited about. So yeah. he had his favorite like food blogger recognize his <laughs> pizza reviews, and mm -hmm. then she thought she was gonna really get you know to, to dance. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> see that's why they totally belong together. Yeah. Yeah. They know everything or almost everything about each other. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, yeah, totally agree. Yeah, yep. Well, let's hope. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Fingers crossed. <laughs> yeah. Who knew we'd be rooting for Boyle and Gina? I know. Yeah. So weird. It totally shifted from Rosa to Gina. Like, we would yeah. never have guessed that. I wouldn't mind, though, if he went back with Rosa. No, neither would I. Yeah. Because Rosa's can't. also a good match, because she's also, like, puts him in his place. Mm -hmm. she could, she's not afraid to say, shut up, Boyle. Yeah. Like, don't do that, Boyle. They're mm -hmm. both like that. They're both, like, strong women mm -hmm. that just say their mind. Yeah. yeah. He yeah. likes strong women. He likes to be yeah. <laughs> He likes to be submissive. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good for Boyle. All right, well, let's go ahead and talk about one of the other main topics in this one was Amy and Scully like running against each other for office. So we have Amy who doesn't really want to do it, mm -hmm. yeah. and then we have Scully who wants to do it just because of the sub party. Yeah. <laughs> I was surprised that she was going to throw away the campaign or like the election. It just didn't seem like her character, mm -hmm. like something that she would do. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Well, I guess because she was scared to 
you know, shake, rattle things up because mm-hmm. if she wanted to be captain, she right. wanted to look good. But once she found out the captain yeah. did that, mm-hmm. then she's like, because that's her kind of idol. Yeah, mm-hmm. right. That's true. So. Yeah, it was kind of fun. Yeah, it was to really see her. Funny. I w- really wanted her to like call people out, though. Oh her yeah, speech. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to see me see her being mean. See, yeah, yeah. yeah. I would see her being mean, just yeah. like a suck up as well. But I like that. I like that uh, pep talk in Holt's mm-hmm. office, though. The powwow that they had. I yeah. thought that was nice. He was like encouraging her. He's like, no, like you should run for office. Like yeah. I wouldn't expect to hold to do that. To yeah. Tell her that. So that was nice. Mm-hmm. I do too. And it's always fun for me to, to see her, how she reacts with him because she's so like wants his approval. <laughs> gets so excited. Yeah. Just like, you know, when you, when you, are we having a powwow? He goes and sits down on the, the you know, sofa, <laughs> like so excited. Yeah. It's so cute. It is. <laughs> it's really, their interaction is great, yeah, you know, and he is. was fun tonight too with his, we saw him a little looser, you yeah. know, it was yeah. like, he still has the power moves, like the chair turn uh-huh. and, you know, like, oh, so good. And, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, it's the dead fan. Yeah, he does that so well. He does. Yeah, he just balances against everybody else. Just uh-huh. yeah, so, so fun to watch. I could never do that. Like yeah. say a fun, funny joke. Like in a serious face, I just crack a <laughs> smile. I think that's really talented. Yeah, and yeah. we talked about earlier how he says he doesn't like cut up that much. He has more this season than, than last. But mm-hmm. it's like, how, how do you not with all this going yeah. around you? I would think it would just be dying laughing all day long. <laughs> yeah. You know, I would too. Yeah, I liked in the beginning too when he was playing games with everybody yes. yeah. about yeah. Amy being late, mm-hmm. and he got it right. And he's like, yes, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's emoting now, guys. It's yeah, crazy. yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, I like. Like to see where where he's going. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And we also saw more of Scully too. He mm-hmm. had like more lines <laughs> in the episode, so we saw. I mean, he's still the same. He's still like a goof. And yeah. He's, he promised a golden boat, right? Yeah. He, he won. So yeah. That's typical Scully yeah. over there. Yeah. And she's like, those don't exist. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I always and I just like to see we, we see him and Hitchcock together as we always do, you know. Mm-hmm. This then saying random, you're my best friend. What you know? Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> so random all the things that he says. Yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah. So ultimately she does. She gets fired up and and decides that. Well, and we also see um, in that pep talk we see Holt show us. We saw another flashback to his past, mm-hmm. which I think are always fun to see because yeah. he's always you know dressed the way he looks. Green. Yeah. 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 It's mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So yeah. So we hear that he had to take the weird cases, as they call them, yeah. the blacks and gays. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. So it, it's yeah. I, I like to see these bits where he shares with people, you know, and and getting her like fired up to do this. Yeah. 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 It's kind of inspiring too that he's kind of come from so like doing the weird stuff. And look at him now. He's so strong. He kept fighting even though yeah. he doesn't look yeah. like he did mm-hmm. much. Right. But yeah. Good for him. Yeah. Good captain. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is why he is there. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And good Amy. She will represent them well and mm-hmm. and, and fight for them. Yeah. And know how to say union, not un. I was just yeah. going to say that. I just, <laughs> you took the words out of my mouth. Like, that was the funniest line. That was the one that yeah. cracked me out. <laughs> yeah. Um. They're, they're much better off. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, all right. Well, let's talk about the, the biggest line, the storyline of the episode, which was really fun to see. So we see Jake has a new love interest played mm-hmm. by Eva Longoria, oh, and we've been we've been ready for this one. Yeah, we've been talking. Yeah, we've been talking for a few weeks. So how did you guys like how how this went down? I really enjoyed it. I like I actually like her character. I think she's a good fit for him. <laughs> like she'll put him in his place, and yeah. Yeah, I was surprised that I liked because I don't really have an opinion of Eva Longoria, and I thought mm-hmm. is she even that funny? Like I don't really know. I thought she does like rom coms and stuff, but she was, it worked really well. And yeah. how they fought with being a district attorney, uh, d- defense attorney, uh-huh. and him being a cop. It was, and what did she say? It's like watching. A horse, you try and use a fork, and he's like, what, like majestic and <laughs> oh, magical yeah. or something? <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought they, I think they pair well together, and I look forward to seeing more of her mm-hmm. and see what else happens. Definitely, yeah. yeah. No, yeah. I agree. They have good chemistry, and I think it was like her first time doing a, or first time in a while doing comedy again, back with Andy yeah. Samberg, because they did SNL. Mm-hmm. So I think it was like mm-hmm. good memories for them. So yeah, I'm excited. I know it's a three episode arc. I know she's not there for like that long. They mm-hmm. already said that before. But let's see how it how it fizzles out, you know, like yeah. how, they, how they go. Or mm-hmm. if she ever yeah. meets Amy. Yeah, I think 
that should happen. Yeah. yeah, I thought we might see a little more reaction from yeah. Amy when they put the put her picture up in you know the, yeah. in yeah. the precinct, yeah. and then um, with Boyle said she looks like the cover in an olive, olive oil so like, <laughs> bottle. She's so pretty. She looks like she pulled yeah. an olive oil bottle. <laughs> what? Yeah. What olive oil out of all like oil? Yeah. He had another one too, and her, you know he's like, let's forget about this, and he's like, I can't. Every time I look at your crotch, stop <laughs> looking at my crotch. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I really like, I think, everything from the beginning. I, I like that we also saw a lot with um, with Jake and Terry's characters, yes. you know, hanging out as buddies, and mm -hmm. it was nice to see, like, you know, because we kind of wonder, because Jake had such a crush on Amy, and it's yeah. kind of, we haven't really seen him have anything for a while. Mm -hmm. So to get a little flashback of his poor dating, you know, life, <laughs> yeah. and, and I think to see him, like, meet her at the bar like that, and then have this, you know, great, eating the wings, mm -hmm. and yeah. having the hot wings, mm -hmm. and then we right away find out the next day that he scored and he got yeah. some action and you know and <laughs> they watched Die Hard and played ping pong with avocados and I know it's yeah. kind of cute yeah it doesn't really happen often you don't meet like your soulmate in a bar, a bar yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. that's why it's them. only three episodes <laughs> yeah. it's true. soulmates for three episodes yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I thought, you know, and I thought good, um, it was also nice to see, you know, Terry when when he, so basically he goes in there and finds out that she is going to be the DA for the, because the one DA didn't show up. Mm -hmm. And then they go and they reveal to the judge that they've had relations and cha-ching. Yeah, so then ultimately he loses the case mm -hmm. and, you know, Jake is going to be, he's just pissed and walking out. I think it was a nice moment to see Terry being like, no, you know, you yeah. have to go after this. Yeah. And yeah, kind of that true. buddy moment getting him to... He's kind of the voice of reason this mm -hmm. this season mm -hmm. so yeah. far, Terry. Yeah, just telling yeah. giving people advice and everything. He's like, yeah. He he used to be kind of like the the weird uncle. Now he's kind of like the dad. Like, yeah. Come on, you have to do this. Or yeah. I don't know. Yeah. But, no, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I do too. He's all yeah. But he still has the funny moments. Like it's hard to keep these buttons on. <laughs> <laughs> you know when he fucks his. And that's yeah. A, yeah. And I want to see that. You know. Yeah, I was like, yeah. so I hope to see that too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In this episode. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping maybe. At the end, we might get a little, you know, yeah, yeah, maybe Valentine's Day episode, <laughs> something, you know, we want it <laughs> right in for that one, <laughs> yeah. Um, any more one good moments about their store there? Um, I don't know. Well, I like that at the end, like, eventually they got back together. Like, Jake, like, thought about it and went over and asked her out, which I didn't think he was going to do because he's mm -hmm. kind of stubborn, mm -hmm. you know, so he wants to win all the time, yeah. you know. I'm kind of surprised he lost, though, because I thought he had that case. Yeah. yeah. They had good yeah, The woman had yeah. to win. She had to win. It yeah. was like Eva Longoria. Like, there's no yeah. way she could have won. And, you know, and kind of <laughs> nice to see him lose because he does always solve the cases yeah. and mm -hmm. figures things out. So yeah. it was nice yeah. to see him have to deal with, you know. I did like the moment where he's like, you know, forget lunch or whatever, and they're going to have sex on the desk, and oh, he yeah. wipes <laughs> off, like, the wrong desk. <laughs> <That's hilarious. laughs> and I like that about her, her character, how she's just like, just like, yeah, let's blame it on the janitor and go, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. kind of, they're both on the same page, like the yeah. wacky page, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. true, because Sanchez was more like a goody good, like mm -hmm. a good doer type. She'd clean up that desk. Yeah. yeah. She yes. would. Oh, yeah, that would have been too much. She would have yeah. cleaned that up. <laughs> yeah. I also, like, you talked about her being um, strong, mm -hmm. and I like, too, because we see like you know she's like you're sure and she's like well you know I we got drunk I invited you yeah. up here I did the first kiss and we start, see her like saying like no further questions and like just kind of putting the hammer down yeah. and kind of controlling yeah. him yeah for a no. lawyer yeah, yeah definitely yeah. she is a good lawyer that way so yeah. <laughs> she did win yeah so she and he good. won the girl so it all works yeah. out true yeah <laughs> <laughs> they both they both win yeah <laughs> Yeah. Any other fun? I know we always have our like fun mm -hmm. quotes of the evening, and we know we've said a couple. Um, what else? Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the olive oil and the onion one were my two yeah. favorite. The poke pals. Uh, Rosa <laughs> had her campaign slogan: "Pick Amy Dummies." <laughs> yeah. Which is Perfect. I, actually, I saw like an interview with her, and her voice is so different. Like, how does she maintain that? Like, I'm Rosa. Yeah, she's like voice. smiling oh, and so, like, good. Yeah, but, like the way she maintains it. Literally, you never see her. Like break. Pick up. Yeah, break. Mm -hmm. I think that's actually pretty cool. Yeah. I would never be able to do that. Yeah. <laughs> she's talented. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's check that out. Mm -hmm. On yeah. Instagram, she's always, like, smiling. It's yeah. not Rose like, at all. Exactly. Like, it's crazy. She's like the female captain, kind of. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, yeah. Yeah, she is. Um, we found out, well, Jake, little spoon all the way. <laughs> um Yeah, I think those, those were the main ones that I had. I think... Yeah. Will Hines played the other lawyer, 
that were horsemen. You were gonna say that. Yeah, yeah. you said After, it. I think, I think that's Will. I'm not sure, but he's from UCB. So okay. that's kind of cool. They mm-hmm. had a lot of guest stars. Yeah, mm-hmm. and this Sandra Bernhardt, with, mm-hmm. who also was like a is a famous stand up comedian. Like mm-hmm. I thought that was perfect casting to be yes. for her to be the mom. Uh, I would like to see th- more of them, you know? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we will. Yeah, more maybe parents. Will. They might, sh- they yeah. might appear again. Just all parents. Like, I want to see who Jake's. Oh, I know. And, yeah. and the dad was Stephen Root. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. From Office Space. Boyle's dad. I yeah. Think. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, I, li- I like these little surprises they drop in on us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, good. Anything else about the episode, ladies? It was awesome. Yeah, it was great. Funny yeah, as girl. always. Yeah. <laughs> Never disappoints. No, it really <laughs> Smile doesn't. on your face yeah, Sunday night. Yeah. It's a yeah. good Sunday night, like, relaxation before you have to go to work. Yeah. yeah. Just watch Andy and his jokes and everyone else and mm-hmm. their jokes. I love it. I love it. I agree. All right, well, let's jump into a little news and gossip. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> TV news. Well, I think we've talked about it before, and mm-hmm. a couple of us will hopefully plan on attending tomorrow night, but Chelsea yeah. Peretti has her um, her show tomorrow, screening of her Woo-hoo! Netflix show, one of the greatest. If you're in town, it's going to be at Largo in West Hollywood. Uh, they're going to screen the episode, and then also she's going to do a live podcast right following where you got, where she's going to interact with the audience, and they can ask her questions and Which is cool. comment. Yeah, yeah. hers is you, you usually call in to her. If you ever mm-hmm. listen to her podcast, it's just she's talking to people on the phone, and she's like... She like hangs up on people. She, <laughs> that's, that's so funny. She's just Gina kind yeah. of in yeah. real life. Sassy and funny. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. So. The, the trailer shows a little bit of, of the special and it just looks hilarious. Yeah. I mean, some of the things she's saying. I mean, one of them was like, she was talking about how as a girl, it's never, it's always weird to eat a banana in public. And I've totally <laughs> oh, thought that, that all the time when I'm like at work or whatever. And I'm just like, and she said, what do you do? And it's exactly the thing I do every time I break the top <laughs> off and then buy. <laughs> You know, so you're not just like, and so that was just a snippet on there. And I'm like, already she had me dying. Like, I can't even imagine like all the other things she's going to say. So everybody go check that out. And if you miss, if you aren't in town to go on Monday, it was on Netflix on the 14th. Yeah. Friday, right? Yeah. 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 Yep. Thank God for Netflix. Yeah, yeah, I know. They're the best. Yeah. And I love that. Um, let's just say, I just love that, you know, there's always people saying that women aren't funny, which mm. they definitely are. And I love that Netflix is getting behind her and, and doing, you know, a special for That's her. Good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we gotta love them. Yeah. Well, she had, they had Chelsea Handler. So yep. yeah. yeah, exactly. So she's, they're all for that. Like, mm-hmm. The, yeah. mm-hmm. Girl power. Exactly. Yeah. Love it. Love it. Um, the only other things I had is uh, I just did a couple things on Terry Crews. Um, we all love him, and if you can't get enough of him, you should also check out his Who Wants to Be a Millionaire mm-hmm. as he hosts that show in the afternoons. <laughs> yeah. And he's he's it's great. Good. He's it's just, good. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just catch it, you know, every now and then he's just so funny and sincere. Yeah, and very it's sincere. Like, that's yeah. a good one, too, yeah. Just mm-hmm. seems very excited for people, mm-hmm. so that's mm-hmm. another one to definitely check out him. Um, he also had two other things. There you can Google, he recently did a robot dance off. So, <laughs> and in there he actually showed some of his, those peck moves. So, if you oh. use those peck moves to pop those buttons, I think maybe <laughs> they need to write that robot move into the show. And you can maybe see that. Coming up in the future. They definitely have to do that. I think they will. Yeah. And the last thing, there was also a good funny picture with him and Robin Roberts for Halloween. Um, she was oh. Beyonce and he was Jay Z. Oh, so, nice. just a few things you can I'll go look that. on the internet oh, and, yeah. and find out. Cool. Um, so, well, well um, I did read that there was like an on-set story from Eva Longoria. She said, uh, yeah. you know, that makeup sesh that she had yes. with um, Jake. She said it got so intense that she bit his lip and he started uh, bleeding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. wow. Yeah. That was on Seth Meyers, right? I think. I, I think, think so, that, yeah. Yeah, I think I saw <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah. I mean, I didn't realize the chemistry was that. Yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> cool. that's a hard kiss. <laughs> wonder what Joanna um, knew some things. No, that's her, his wife. His, yeah. Well, I have that Joel Otrulio, Boyle, for all those fans. He's actually starring and he co-created the show called Beef. It's an online show. It's like a web series. It's from the same people who did Burning Love. Much of you guys. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's um, produced by Paramount Digital. And it's going to be um, on iTunes and all VOD platforms starting Tuesday, November 11th. Ooh. So it's, like, it's actually, it's a show, it's like a Judge Judy type show, but it's taking place in a deli. 
<laughs> so people like come in with their court cases, and if they like get really heated up, they like go in the freezer. It's like really <laughs> funny like that. It also stars Michael Sarah and Lizzie Kaplan from Masters oh, of nice. Sex. Oh, so check that out if you guys uh, want to yeah. get more Boyle action. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Nice. Lots of good stuff yeah. going on in this cast. Mm -hmm. All right, that's great. Well, let's go ahead and dive into our predictions. And now, mm -mm. you're after Buzz TV predictions. I'll dive in with one. Mm -hmm. I, I just I think that Amy um, is gonna get super jealous. That's pretty what obvious, I put. but yeah. I think she's gonna get super <laughs> jealous of yeah. So that'll somehow lead to those two sparking things back up again. Mm -hmm. That's yeah. what I put. Mm -hmm. yeah. I hope we. I think uh, Boyle and uh, Boyle's dad and Gina's mom gets it on clearly, <laughs> <laughs> and it makes it weird for. And they definitely find out. Like, yeah, yeah, Gina and Boyle for sure. Maybe the whole office finds out. Mm -hmm. That's even more. Embarrassing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's hard to predict with a show because you think that yeah. you know something or you have something, and the next thing you know, it changes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just mm -hmm. going to keep quiet for now. It is yeah. hard. Yeah. I actually had the same thing you guys had. Or actually, Kelly, with Boyle and Gina's dad and mom hooking up. Yeah. But what do you guys think? Well, what do you guys think is going to happen between Sophia and. Jake. Well, I had thought like, they were going to get way? serious. Yeah, but then you said that they're, right. she's only going to yeah. be like three yeah, episodes. So I was like, oh, she's not. No, nah, it's not going to happen. Mm -hmm. What do you think will be the ultimate end to them? Maybe. Maybe he can't take Liz Amy. or Amy. Maybe coming back. Yeah, it could yeah. be like a. You know, she moves away or something. I don't know. That's actually hard to tell. Well, yeah. We'll find out. Yeah, so we will. <laughs> All right. Well, I think that's it from us here tonight. Where can everybody follow you guys at? You guys can find me at Twitter and Instagram at Kanika Lal. And I'm Kelly McInerney. You can find me at Twitter and Instagram at Holly Weirdo. And you can, uh, I do the SNL after show here, too. Yeah. And you can find me on Twitter and Instagram at underscore Michelle Fee. And I'm at JJ Jurgens on Twitter and Jurgens JJ on Instagram. And you can follow me on my blog at TomGirl.tv. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you again next Sunday. Bye. Bye. From executive producers Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz, see you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.